imported into your desktop. And it will then soon become part of your list of references. And that is the way or the first one uh, that you use to build your reference list. Margaret, when you go back to the Google Chrome, I just want to okay. show them something. No, I don't. Okay, let's just go back to Chrome. Where is okay. It? Yeah. Okay, so um, this is a good way of doing a first screening. And for example, if you want to do the research focus area of corporate sustainability. But as you would see, there is many results. There's 1,000 items and IP results. And that is too much for any of us to read. So what you would not want to do, you do not want to select all here. Yeah. This will create other chaos in your mind. You don't want to duplicate Google Scholar on your own computer. So what we need to do is we need to search screen um, here. So we can say, um, maybe put in um, these two in brackets and say, and South Africa, for example. Okay. Uh, with Atli, okay, let's say South Africa. South Africa and then search. Remember, if you put in South Africa normally in a search in inverted commas, then it will search for it as a concept. Otherwise, as an exact phrase, that's the same, but there's now already an exact phrase there. Okay. So we can just put in South Africa, or you can say, with at least one of these words. Say you want corporate sustainability in the private sector or in the uh, public sector, then you can use uh, one of those words. I don't know whether you've got a good example. Uh, no, that's okay. sustainability. Okay, already South Africa, so you, you see. see that there's four results. Yeah. Right? And like I said earlier, one of the important things to have to do that is these number of citations that all these. So when you are deciding, okay, are we going to look, are we going to download, which of these are we going to download? Let's start with the one that cites it more, right? This one would, if 34 or 5 people have cited it, it means it's more, uh, it's more, uh, not relevant, it's more, um, it's a hot, Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, people are thinking what this, these people, what um, Clayton is writing in the bulletin of geography is very important. Um, it's not that this other one of JV is not important, it's just that the other one is, is influencing the device more. You might, um, so I would suggest look at these citations and then we can, I will, um, Margaret will later show you how to use for example, this article to see who did they cite to find some more information on this specific topic. So, integrated reporting versus sustainability reporting. So, it's a, um, this is just a starting point. And then, when you then import into Mendeley, you can start with the one. And you can later also come back and read this or just. Um, yeah, I would just, otherwise you're going to read too much and have too little to say. Yeah. yeah, I would say the term that we could use for that first one, it's more visible and the impact maybe is higher because okay. it is, uh, it's cited. Yes. Okay, let me undo <laughs> my writing. This is not working, so automatic undo for this button. So. We'll just wipe it, everything out. Okay, Margarita back on track. Remember guys, if you, while you're doing this, you have to take screenshots. Um, assignment one requires you to do all these things that Margarita um, is teaching you at the moment. So take screenshots before you start off with all of this. Okay, so there is our first or your first uh, references. Okay, we can just go back and see whether it indeed has imported it. Competitive advantage, that was still yours. I just want to see recently added. Um, 
Can you remember the title scoring? Another thing that I want to show you, if you put, if you click on author, it will automatic, it will automatically arrange them alphabetically according to the title, up to the author. The same for the title. Um, I must just now go back and try and find out which were the ones that I imported that we can check. Go back some more. Okay, uh, just take out South Africa and okay. Oh, what is it doing now? I'll have to do it again. Advance corporate sustainability and our date was 2014. So fine. And we imported, I think. The impact of corporate sustainability. And it is by Eccles. Okay. Let's now go back and just check whether Eccles is there under author. Do you want to tell me? It's Very persistent of basic Okay, I type on title Eccles. T. Echoes. Very So it will appear there. You can just also always check. Normally, if you click on recently added, it will only show you the ones recently added. I don't know why it's bringing my whole uh, my whole uh, database uh, up. But anyway. I realize, so, um, all the groups. As because we are members of yeah. all the groups, everything the students are uploading is being yeah. uploaded I to ours. Yes. But actually when we delete all those groups, it will be gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you trust me, you've seen that Echoes is there. So now the next uh, database I want to show you is if you want to search for books. Remember the main um, feature that we use for importing articles uh, in RefWork is um, if it's the PDF that I'm going to show you in a while, uh, but um, uh, then you can download it in your watch folder. But with books, because of copyright constraints, you can't download a whole book. So the tool that I would uh, like to show you is the Federated Search Engine um, if you want to, uh, to get books into your system. So I'm going to go to the library and instead of the library catalog which doesn't allow you to import books, I'm going to show you the Federated Search Engine. So HTTPS www.unisa.ac.za So how do you get to the library site? You go to the UNISA and then you go to library. So this is my UNISA. Uh, my goodness, there it is. Okay. And now you click on search the library, but the tool that you are going to use is the Anko Quick and Easy uh, Federated Search Engine. So click on the arrow, click on Advanced Search, and there's also again a nice um, screen. And again, I'm going to do Corporate Sustainability. Put it in inverted commas that it doesn't search for corporate in one sentence and sustainability five sentences later because then it is not the same thing. Corporate sustainability, you want from 2014 and Format doesn't matter, collection, the collection it asks because uh, UNISA has got music collection and various uh, East London branches, for example, but you can say you want it in all collections and location doesn't matter whether it's here or in the Durban branch because it can be uh, um, a record from there or it can be asked 
that it sent it to you. But then go and say, I don't want to search in the full text of the article because you might get a lot of irrelevant or very little relevance. So you put in your keyword and then you say, say. Your uh, date, if you put uh, uh, just the star date on this particular database, it will give you only the books. Remember the federated search engine is also a, a database that are connected to your, uh, uh, to your databases. But the reason why I uh, uh, would rather leave it uh, to search only the books as it is best to use the databases itself. Uh, you have more uh, flexibility there to f uh, focus your search and also you will see if I put 2019 for example and the books uh, or the journals are included, it gives you a, a lot that is also impossible to work through. Uh, corporate sustainability, you will see you can say search or or library catalog. If you say search all the databases like EBSCO will also be included. But once again look at the amount. It is an impossible amount. But if you say you want only the library catalog, then it is 49 and it will be books. So I would rather instead of say search or show you the databases and you can go to the databases. It also just searches uh, the books if you just put 2014 up to uh, or you just leave it open. I can just show you for example. Um, search with advanced search. If you leave it open, it will only search the books. Forty-nine. But now again, you use the importer, and the same as with Google, um, you go and select. But remember, I said books. You are not able. Um, Normally you are not able to uh, import the whole book. What I assume that's the case here is will be a chapter in the book. Because of copyright restrictions, you are allowed to import 10% of a book. So we can just go and see uh, corporate sustainability, the, uh, that one with the PDF. Okay, back to results. Where is back to results? Okay. It seems as if here yeah, you have to do it one by one. Normally you can select a, a more than one. Let's also do that one and that one. Um, you're clicking on the wrong spot, I think. Clicking I want one to look. I want that one also. Let's say add CR2. Okay, let's just go and check. CR2, it's still working. Okay. Uh, let's see, recently added. You will once again have to go and check the author. In this instance, the author is Kamaleri Kam Kam and Fisser. So let's just go and check whether Fisser and Kamaleri are there. Have you remembered to think? Okay. Think. If you don't think it won't necessarily be there. Yeah, it puts it in. It's just if it doesn't, you uh, go to the sink. Okay. Um, yeah. I always yeah. need to think of it. Okay. Kamaleri, so let's just go to authors. Um, B. There is Kamaleri. And Fisher is the other one. Uh, Fisher Wayne. So I've got two. Now I can show you if you've got duplicates, then you go to two, 
check for duplicates. I hope I've clicked it now. Check for duplicates. And there I've got two ones that all you say is confirm merge and it will merge the two. So let's go back to all documents. So this is how you go about with books. If it doesn't allow you to do a whole selection, you will be able to do it one by one. Okay, let's just go be back to to this. We can just do another one and see whether it pulls in. There is, for example, just a journal. There is Camilleri. Corporate Sustainability by Leon and add and it should pull it in we can just quickly check and sync and see where the Leon the And remember, as we've previously said, go and check that your references are correct. D. Leon, there it is. So if you click on Leon, it is a book, there are the authors, there's the title, but there's not a year, so you will go and check what the year is, and the pages. And there's not a city, so once again you will put in the city and the publisher. But the basics uh, are there, so it's quickly just to uh, to edit it that it is uh, correct. But edit it before you go on. From yes. Here. Because to edit it later, you're going to have a whole list of things that you have to edit, and then it takes two or three days that on mm -hmm. your that you could have been spending writing or making corrections just to fix your referencing. Okay, so let's go to the next database. Um, from now on, I want to uh, do my searches on the LibGuide. You will see here is search the library. So all the uh, various databases, and we've got over 500, will be under here, find the e-resources. But in that, in, uh, if you want to use this, you need to know the database's name. And uh, for that reason, I've created a lib guide where all the relevant databases are pulled together on one page. And it just helps you. Um, with the navigation. You can either use the Department of Business Management, but there's also one for your department, uh, sustainability, I think. But let's remember there are quite a lot of uh, lip guides, and they are uh, the purpose of them is to put all information relevant to a specific uh, topic on one page. You will see under Department of uh, Business Management um, how it works. It just makes uh, navigation so much easier. So Department of Business Management, just remember there is a business management as well, but that is the SBL. So the Department of Business Management is ours. So each of the tabs on top represents a different type of information. If, for example, you go to library uh, technology support, there's all type of, if you have on uh, off-campus problems, uh, if you've got problems with uh, client authentication, with your library pin, with Wi-Fi connection, so then you will go there. But uh, for now, I'm going to concentrate on journals and articles. So here are the subject databases relevant for your subjects. Um, first of all, and the most important one, is uh, you are always going to do your uh, research taking into consideration South African, what South Africans have said on, uh, regarding the topic. It will ask you to, uh, to authenticate yourself. So in this instance, it's not your Mendeley, it's your um, network password. So it will be your uh, UNISA, your MyLife, and your password. 
So I just want right. to look. I think you need student numbers and then the password that they used to log in yeah. my life. And then my password. It's correct, so I don't know. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks so much. Okay. This is the Sabini database. South African journals and all of them are full text available. So you go to advanced search and here is a screen where you type in your, uh, your keyword and in this instance you can't say you want a keyword or a subject. It only allows you all fields or you can look for the words in the article title or you can look for a publication title or for an author name. Um, and you can search in the abstract only, but if you say all fields, it will search all fields. So my topic that I want is competitive intelligence. Once again, put it in inverted commas to keep it together. Mm -hmm. Competitive, there is a problem or what? I can't see the competitive, competitive intelligence or fields exclude for days and put in the date and here it's a little bit um, complicated. First go to the year, you want 2014 and you want from the 1st of October and you want to end today. And remember if your lecturer uh, say you only need to do uh, accredited journals, then you will uh, uh, select these. I but, think we have to someone select them to stop. But then you're going to get very, very little, but let's first, let's I both do both. Okay. Okay, let's do both. Competitive intelligence, and there it is. There are your articles. They are already very little, but I'll do the other search. So there's your title, your uh, author, where it appears, the URL, and go to more and you go to download and from now on what you are going to do is you are going to download your um, full text in the watch folder. So you want to save as, you go to your desktop and you go to watch folder, you can give it a proper name Yes, please. Uh, it, it would be always, it's always a good idea to so first say, put in the year, for example, you can do quick uh, winners that article done, okay, 2017. This is 2017. Okay. Okay. 20, 2016 and then the uh, underscore. And then put the, see the author. Oh, it's not doing underscore. Maybe my num lock is not on. Oh, just with the file. It doesn't do the underscore. Okay, and then um, the author's author surname. What is that? And then just the first um, three words of, or three, three words. Establishing. I've 
in your on your own computer just to say that the bit better. Okay, and take care it is as a PDF. And so say so from here on now we go check, we can say synchronize and now we can see where the print cure. Yolandi, there there is it is competitive intelligence. So let's just minimize it and close this one. And so you can go on. It's very, very easy. Just download. Um, I'm not going to do it, but just get the full text, right click, save as. It's better to save as because then you can uh, uh, choose the direction. So save as and then you go and say desktop. After a while, uh, it will open automatically at your watch folder. So, and then in the watch folder, and, okay, watch folder, and then save. Um, can I just show them something on this article while we're here? So if you just um, decide to keep an article or to save an article, whether you're going to use an article, first read through the abstract. Mm. This will give you idea of what they, what they wrote in this article, right? So in this article, for example, we see that um, competitive intelligence is a strategic management tool which enhances competitiveness. We also see that they are comparing um, South Africa with Brazil, yeah? and this is done because they are both developing economies, but also because they are part of BRICS, right? Um, we can also see um, what the findings were. We can see that they use questionnaires. So this could help you in your study to say, okay, maybe questionnaires is a good idea to use this to investigate something like competitive, uh, um, competitive intelligence. Then um, it will also give you, uh, like I said, some findings. And then um, what is important for you guys to look at um, to find your own research problem. Margarita, why don't you, uh, this is the touch screen, I forgot. Oops, it's just with delete all my scribble. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so we always, students often find it difficult to know where is the gap for research or what problem can buy research. Right? So we find our research problems in the articles that we read. So, say for example, one of the problems that the author is experiencing a lot is that students don't email it. Right? And she would now want a solution to this problem. That's not an academic problem. That's a practical problem that the author is experiencing and she will look for a solution in the practical world. Right? We are interested in academic research. So we need to find an academic problem in the academic world. So when we look for these things, we go through the article. And then we look, right, go, right. So normally in this article, ah, so in this article, you often get something called recommendations or recommendations for future research. But so in, they will conclude, and it's definitely by the end, and let's see what they call the thing. Um, so it is recommended, for example, let's see, so they say it's recommended for organizations in Brazil to seek to engage proactively with the global environment by revisiting their strategic priorities. So this could allude maybe to a problem, right? The problem is that organizations in Brazil are not 
in guys in the global environment and by the strategic priorities is therefore wrong. So if we then develop a problem from the therefore show us what the problem is to research, then we can say we can how would or develop maybe a framework or what the problem uh, would be of um, the research would look at as using competitive intelligence to prioritize strategi uh, strategically um, within a global environment. And you could create a framework, you could create a measure, everything just from this little particle. So it's important to go look for these problems in the article. They are all there. And then you can go and from this, now go and get keywords that you can further your search into it so that you can justify your problem with more than one author. Maybe look for three authors. Say, so listen, these guys in Brazil here are struggling to set strategic priorities because they're not taking, uh, looking at the global environment. But then, maybe it's not just a Brazilian study, you can even look at all the guys in South Africa doing it, or small businesses doing it. What's happening in the um, arena of research? But remember, if you look at this article, I think it's a 2016 article, mm -hmm. 2016, they could have already been somebody that spotted this, right? Because knowledge is non rival so, this, while this is a problem, an academic problem to research, you have to go make sure that this problem that you find, nobody else has found it. Then, the other thing that you can also look at, if I'm not pressing the wrong button the whole time, um, is you can look at the limitations of the study, right? Um, so, that means the sample was small. So I'm not sure what the sample was, I didn't read that much. But they, they say for future research, this is what you are doing, you are doing the future research, you can maybe include a larger sample. Or you can, that's got the, uh, you can move these things. Um, so, so the limitation, uh, there was a small sample. Um, and then I say, so for example, in the line of the worldwide interest in CI in developing countries and the desire to understand how South Africa and Brazil can improve its competitiveness, so how is it spread that South African Brazilian government and in the in future will create an environment which will facilitate the competitiveness? So, they say there is no environment to facilitate competitiveness. So maybe, that's the problem we're researching. researching. What does the environment that facilitates competitiveness look, look like in the South African or the Brazilian environment? That's a good problem to look at. It might not be a good, uh, good problem for a master. It sounds a little bit big for a master. But this is the problem you have to go look for in Eichelbach. Right? Because you're going to, in the end, use this little proposal, if you want to, to apply for a master's degree. Okay, let's see if I can get these things deleted. Oh, I got it. And <laughs> just my little comment, remember if you find a relevant article, go and check out the bibliography because to come up with their uh, research they had to look at relevant resources and i'm later on going to show you how to use the e the e find e, um, e journal the e journal tool and that will help you to find any journal where you have a proper reference so please go and have a look at the uh, bibliography so this concludes then the, um, the, our for SIE publications. Our next database that we uh, would like to use is the EBSCO host. Let's go. Remember we are now uh, using the lab guide from now on because as I said all the relevant databases are there. 
So the first one is the EBSCO, uh, EBSCO host, and it's a suite of databases, and what it means is a whole selection. You will see uh, it opens the A2Z list of the databases that are uh, housed in this collection, and you have to go and select. And with one search, you will cover all of these databases. Everyone has got a short uh, uh, description that will tell you whether it's relevant in your research field. The uh, academic uh, search ultimate is a, a interdisciplinary database, so you will select that one. Africa Wide is a very important African uh, database. Uh, because we're looking uh, inter alia for African inf information. You will skip medication, America, art and agriculture, religion. So the next one is business management. You will skip the other ones. There might be a good ebook on it. Uh, Econlet is our next database. If you do anything education related, like a teaching business management, you will include education, environment, um, depending, you can choose it. I'm going to skip it for the moment. Eric is also an education database. This is more for the life sciences, gender studies, global health, green files, anything with biology, health sources, you will skip history. Um, Legal library, master file is a multidisciplinary database, so you will include that one. Master file reference, uh, include, a uh, midline skip, a uh, new testament, old open dissertations, there might be an open dissertation, open means you, it's open for everybody. Psychology, anything about human resources management, um, regional business, and so that one we skip. Okay. Now we're going to search with one search all of these databases together. You will see if you go to databases where, where they are. Um, let me just see databases, images. Okay, and then again, my subject for this one is corporate sustainability again, so we could have included the um, green file and those ones, but then remember it will be very focused on environmental, on uh, environmental lack of water. Yeah. So be careful if you choose from what focus point you are using the database. And that's why I said earlier, um, go read on the ACDs and see what, what difference do you want to make? Do you want to make a difference in eradicating poverty? Or do you want to make a difference in peace and justice? And then this will also influence the way that you search Right, because yeah. then if you want to go and look at the natural sciences ones like SDG 14 mm. with life underwater, then you would have included the SDG, um, the green one. Yeah. If you wanted to look at peace and justice, then you would have included the laws because then you can have a review of which laws enable mm. these things or which laws that do not. Exactly. And um, then the IELTS one, you would have included the medical yeah, um, bunch. So the SDGs become important and um, you will see in the marking rubric for all the assignments, even in the quantitative and business models, I um, constantly give you marks for embedding these SDGs in your research. And that is to achieve the purpose of the qualification and that is to make you better citizens of this continent which we are on, Africa. Yeah, my selection was now based purely on business management. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah no, I, I'm just emphasizing it. And then once again, you can go, you can say, a text or text, it will search for the keyword in the abstract, in the title and in the uh, subject field. You can instruct it to go and search for the author. You just want the word in the title or you want it as a subject term. 
So I want it as a subject term, and I only want to look at a corporate sustainability in Africa. So Africa will be my second um, term, and you can either search for it as a subject term, or you can say you only want uh, to find it somewhere in the te uh, text. We can do both. So first as a subject term, and then important, go and search for scholarly. You don't want little uh, popular um, news news uh, magazine. Or, uh, yeah, we don't want to go look in the Lambovian blog. Exactly. <laughs> so and then once again, you can say you want from 2014. Uh, normally, as I say, if you leave it open, it will search up to now. Um, and then you go and search. So let's just see how many there are in Africa. So there's only one where this subject is Africa. If we now want to, we say, select the field optional, it means it will look there, it will look in the whole thing with the abstract. So now we should get more. Okay, now we get seven we're, uh, in Africa. And if you take out Africa, then obviously you are going to get a whole lot, because then it's, uh, it is a global database. Uh, oh, my Africa didn't disappear. Okay, then there are 376. But remember, after you've done your search, you can further go, depending on what you found, you can go and limit it here. You can say the date is, um, what is our date that we said, from 2014. But for some reason, it only searches 2018. I'll just have to go back and see. And then an uh, important thing is if you don't want foreign language uh, journals, you can just say you want uh, English uh, English titles. I just want to go and check the date because you can change the date there. I'm sure. Yeah, you can. Sure. Um, why you would necessarily take out the um, uh, the other languages because you don't understand them for one. And, um, and remember, our research needs to be relevant to where we are. So if something is in Portuguese, chances is that it might be relevant to Mozambique. Um, so if you're from Mozambique, and then you will understand the language as well. Mm, yeah. but, um, so you're sitting in Namibia, something written in Portuguese should not necessarily be relevant because Portuguese is not a language spoken there. So um, these things help you to delimit what is in your study. Okay, um, when it tells you till 2017, though I put 2019, it tells you that the last uh, article was written. We can just make sure that I didn't make a typo. Uh, let's go no, to... Oh, I did, sorry. Well, let's be sure and say 2020 and search. If, however, you did find something like the last article was in 2017, go, uh, go and look at that last article and maybe, given that there is no research being done, it means that people are not interested in this anymore and it's not relevant. You know, um, we taught you guys all about the base cell analysis and what's going on in the environment. So often things do become irrelevant very quickly. Like a fax machine, for example, mm. it's totally irrelevant. So maybe if your um, uh, research was into the use of fax machines to in, um, enhance productivity, and then you see, hey, this, the last article on this was 2012, then you know, oops, something went wrong, and then you see, oops, there's no more fax machines. So there's a reason for those things happening. So then, Continue with something if something like that happens. Okay. Um, for you to read the abstract, you go to the little magnifying glass, 
And if you leave it at select a field, you don't select a field, then it means, oh, let me just go back there. It means it will search for those terms that you input there in the whole document or the whole or rather reference. So accept the full text. So it will be the abstract, but the subject, if you get that um, term, corporate sustainability, as a subject, then you know somebody read the article and it is really dealing with the, uh, with the subject. So it's very uh, 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 focused. And remember, if you get lots of articles to go and search for it as a subject term, it limits it. If you get very little, then you go broader. If you start it off as a subject term, then you change it to select the field because it's broader. So just uh, the whole time you have to evaluate in terms of what you found. Do you find what you are uh, searching for and you have to adapt your strategy the whole time. So once again, it allows you to read uh, it allows you to read, and then you will see in most instances, in absolutely the most instances, it's PDF, it's PDF. All of them PDF. And remember what I told you, if you find the PDF, open the full text um, uh, and go and read the first section, see whether it's relevant, and then it is simple a matter of drop it in your watch folder. So let's say the last one I want, um, PDF, the effect of sustainability, standard uncertainty on certification, whatever, and then again save as, and you go, after a while it will open automatically on the watch folder, give it a proper name, you can't just save it as content uh, server, so what is the date? 2016? 2019. Is it 2019? I can't read so is far. Is this the first item yeah. I've now, I've just now uh, chosen one. Yeah, I just read the first one and then the effect of sustainability. Effect of sustainability. It allows you to organize your stuff and live your thoughts as well if you say your folder isn't as chaotic as mine. <laughs> yeah, and it's always uh, good to open the full text to see, to read the abstract, to have a glimpse through it. Otherwise, you might be doing the, uh, taking the trouble to uh, save a lot of unwanted stuff. Mm -hmm. And then go and PDF and save. And I guarantee you it will go to your watch folder. So that is the one thing I want to show you. Oh, sorry, I should have gone back and not out. So I've closed my search now. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going I was learning a lot of things down here. Yeah. You see why I said expert. Yeah, you see, you see, you close it academically. Okay, there we go. But you know what, I think you guys have a great option. You have a better option. I'm so very sure about that. Yeah. And then we will have a new surprise. Give me that. So we will be in the river pool now.
Thanks. Perfect. Stay tuned. There you go. Just want to get the language again. So English. And then the next step is I want to show you if an article is not full text available, the route to go to find the full text. So I just want to find one that is not full text available. And it will be corporate sustainability and indigenous community. Um, let's see. Yeah, that one is not full text available. Uh, in fact, this one also is not full text available. So what you do is you take the uh, a journal in which the article appears. You copy the name and you make a little mental note of where it appears. So not the title of the article but of the journal. And you open another session um, and let's go to the UNISA library. I set up on my computer, I've made a shortcut that it goes directly, that I, if I click on top on library, it goes there uh, directly. So, uh, UNISA, um, I see the ZA. And then I go to library. And if you bookmark it, it will appear on top and you will quickly get there. But then instead of going either to the lookouts or to search the catalog, you go to find an e-journal. Find e-journals. And now you copy the title that you um, are looking for, the journal title, International Journal of Reliability and Management. Okay, it will be the first one. And now you can see, we've got access uh, via Business Insights, but it stopped in 1997. We've got, and this is the database we are presently using, uh, it gives the reference, but it's got a delay. In other words, they want to force us to buy also the, um, the uh, paper copy. So there's a delay, or what you also yeah. call it, um, moratorium or what for a year. That one stopped in 1993, but the Emerald gives us access up to now. That one stopped, that one stopped, that one is a delay, that one is a delay. Also, so, also um, just check the year. And, yeah. Um, in which, in which it was published. If it was published like before 1994, it's fine to use the other one. Yeah, but, um, exactly. No, normally it won't. So then you go, you make a mental note, and you saw that it's 2019. It is volume 36, and it is issue 9. So issue 9, volume 36, issue 9. And that you can do with every or any reference that you've got. This is the route that you will use. And your title was the impact of technology management. So then you just scroll down the impact of technology management it is. What you can also do, but it depends on the journal, is you can copy the journal title then. Oh, sorry, the article title and put it in there. But if you've got the volume and the number, it's very quickly to scroll down. And there is your article that was not full text available. There's the PDF. And where do you uh, save it? In the watch folder. <laughs> so it is safe as, and so you are building your library. Now you've already got a couple of references in there. 
I'm just going to quickly show you ProQuest, but very quickly. And then I would also like, because Karen asked about high, high impact journals, uh, I'm going to include Web of Science as a database. Um, and then we will come to the part where we do the actual referencing. But it's very important that you find firstly the correct articles for your research. So I just want to... Yeah, so all of your research starts with um, finding the right literature source. Yeah. And that's why you will see I gave you an extensive reading list, especially in the first semester, um, because you can't make any proposal to anyone about doing research if you don't know what has already been done and what the, the talk of the town is about something. So make sure that you've read through the reading list, right? And it's a lot of articles. I'm going to make you read first the articles in the first semester alone, right? But if you read systematically, it's not that much. And that's why also broken down all the assignments into smaller parts in the first semester so that you can read your first ten and create your introduction and see where your problem is. I showed you a shortcut now how to get mm -hmm. to a problem. Right? So read specifically. If you're going to go read 500 articles, then yes, then I shall advise becomes a very cumbersome thing. But if you search properly, then it won't be that big of a problem. Exactly. Okay, quickly the pro quiz very similar to the previous one. Um, they are quite a wonderful selection of uh, business-related uh, uh, databases. If you select the business premier collection, it will automatically uh, select uh, all uh, related ones. But there are a couple that I add. The one is the Middle East and Africa, because I'm always looking out for African information. So Middle East and Africa, and then Research Library is another one, Research Library. You can uh, include the progress thesis and dissertations, and I think that is the whole lot, if I remember correctly, except again, as Karen said previously, the focus area, if it's education or whatever, then you will include those. So once again, we're going to select all of those databases, there are they, there are eight, and then we put in our topic, it's competitive intelligence this time, there. But, uh, I get confused with my spelling, competitive, <laughs> competitive intelligence. Is it correct now? Okay. No. If you right click on it, it should give you the correct file. Mm -hmm. Intelligence. Your, close your uh, what inverted commas. We want to search it as uh, either a, a subject. Remember the databases doesn't, they don't necessarily give you the same choices. It depends on the subject database. So here it says all subjects uh, and indexing, or then if you don't find it there, you can say anywhere except the full text. You don't want to find uh, search for it in the full text. So all subjects, and then once again, I want to look in Africa, and this one gives you Africa as a location. So you can then say, I must just find it here, oh, there it is, Africa location peer-reviewed, and then your publication date uh, after 2013, after this date, so 2013, or whatever the case may be, so from 2014 on. Okay, let's see what we find. Okay, there are seven specifically in Africa, once again. You put it in your uh, watch folder, watch folder, and the one like this one, you use the e-journal finder. This one also, and this one. And if you don't want Africa, you can just go and say you want to modify your search, 
and you can take out Africa and put in developing countries or whatever the case may be. Um, so as I said, whatever you find the whole time you think, is it the correct thing that you are finding? And you adjust your search strategy accordingly. So the last one that I want to accept now the CC is the Web of Science. What Web of Science allows you is it can arrange the journal according to citations. So an article that has been many times uh, has been um, re uh, referred to or cited a lot of times means that uh, people are taking notice of it. It's an influential article and uh, so it indicates that you can use it well. Yeah, I, it would, I would suggest using that um, in your, either in your literature review yeah. at least. Um, so I just so wanted to open it quickly and then I'm going to show you thesis and just a short sentence or two on research methodology. Okay, there's your Web of Science core collection. I'm simply going to use my corporate sustainability again. Always inverted commas. Corporate sustainability, I'm going to see how much I get as a topic. Remember you can search here, topic, title, author, publish, publication name, want it as a topic and you can say add a row and maybe you can say Africa. I haven't tried this one out so I just want to see Africa and you say all years, um, custom range or last five years. I would, uh, I would, if we want to look for similar articles, look at all years. Okay, all years. Yeah, you're right, sorry. Absolutely. Yeah, and then maybe not Africa. No. So this result will probably be a many articles. It will. And then you will go and find the foundation where the whole concept started, how it built on each other. Okay, 1,351. So you can either display it by date, where the uh, newest will be on top, or you can go and you say you want time cited. So the one that has been the most cited um, will be the first one to appear. On the right hand side you will see it tells you how many times it's been cited. The first one has been cited 742 times. Um, so we will see even from the um, from the title you can see people are probably using the definitions and concepts or factors that I, uh, these authors, authors say this is what corporate social responsibility is and this is what corporate sustainability is and they probably said, said what the difference between the two, two were and he gave these definitions so that's probably why they're using them and that's why you should probably also be using it to define your key terms in your research proposal and if we look at the year, what is the year um, Margarita? Yeah, let's see. 203. 203. So you would see you would not have found this article yeah. if you did a five year search. Mm -hmm. But it's still relevant because look at how many people are citing it. Okay, and there are the cited references. So this is the references that he cited. So view all in cited reference page, you can go there. But what I then also want to show you um, is you can create a citation alert and every time this paper is cited you will get an alert. But there is your 742 times uh, cited and then the full text you will be able to find from the publisher and once again my old song you just download it in your uh, watch folder. So let me just see and then if you want a new topic for example the um, hot topics. 
Okay, first of all, you will uh, go and download it. But let's go back to our search. Just one. Okay. Back. Back to search. We had to move. Yeah, but my little bit key. Okay. You will see there it tells you highly cited paper, highly cited paper, though this one is also a highly cited paper, <coughs> sorry, and most of them anyway are available at the uh, publisher. So you instant, instantly you will be able to find it and put it into your watch folder. And Web of Science is one of the very good databases that you can't uh, go wrong using. And remember to go time cited if you want to get the uh, higher cited ones uh, first. Anything you want to add here? Yeah. No, so sometimes um, you wanted to show them the hot topics, but sometimes if you look, they add the. Um, you can get up. Add the. Analytics that they give you here. Sometimes they've got a little fire burning here. Hot topic, yeah. Hot topic. Then it will show you what's being researched at the moment. I would not suggest this fire report for um, modern doctoral students because there's a lot of research being done. And chances are, I actually stepped into the same problem with my PhD. Chances are that because people all over the world have access to the same things you've got. So chances are, somebody would have not would have clicked on this. And if you read A, B, and C, and I read A, B, and C, we're probably going to make the same conclusion. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have our topic here, and they're going to be the same. Yeah. And then, uh, because we are students, we go for the methods that easy. But we go for interviews, mm -hmm. we go for questionnaires, and I do that, and the does that, and then we end up having the same thing, and that might be a problem. Yeah. So if you're doing research later on, you can go for the hot topics, um, but uh, and you can read that because it, then it helps you to get relevant. But then um, use those to justify your research at this point because of this whole conundrum that might happen. Oops, now I'm throwing the wrong way. <laughs> no. That way he got. Happy. I think it's a moist life. I'm not sure. See any empty. Okay. So the last database that um, you should take note of, but I'm not going to do a search, or the last two is Emerald and Scopus. Also very good databases, but then you've honestly covered the whole lot. So, yeah. So I'm finished with journals and articles. I want to show you thesis and dissertations. Firstly, 
um, the next current and completed research project is where you will go and find if your topic hasn't been uh, already researched. I just quickly want to do a search there and then I'm going, no full text there, it's only the reference, but they've got current and completed. So um, the current means somebody is busy with the title, um, you won't get the full text, but you can't take that title. Uh, it's already been researched. Um, uh, if only it opens. I don't. I think. Okay, let's. National ETD portal, full text uh, of the article. So I'm searching for competitive uh, corporate sustainability. Sustainability and search. Hundred and oh no, uh, uh, thirty-two um, references. You first click on the title. It gives you the abstract. If the abstract is relevant, you go to the identifier. Identifier, then it should give you a page where you can go and download the full text. Thesis, um, you are able to download the full text. It's different from books. There are not copy, uh, no copyright restriction. So this one you will go and directly save as. I'm just going to do it and in your watch folder. Um, as a, I don't want it as a web page, I want it as a PDF. So I must go first and find the PDF. You can download it there. There it is. So, but then it takes it to yeah. the... So from here on then you then can... you can save it. Yeah, from here on you can save it as a PDF. Okay, let's see whether it allows now. Save as PDF. There you are. Watch folder and save. Just remember, um, save it with a nice name. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm just now saving so it. Yeah. But, okay, so that is how you will find theses and dissertations. I'm just doing the one. Um, and then our last database is a um, research methodology. So under research methodology, you've got the search research methods online. All of this information is full text available and you are able to download it. So firstly you go to research tools, or this is the first method that I would like to show you. You can go to methods map, and what I like about starting here uh, with the uh, method maps, it gives you context. It started off broadly by research methods. Then it tells you what are the um, um, more specific topics in research me me uh, methods. So you spoke about quantitative data analysis earlier. So let's click on quantitative. Then it breaks it further up in statistical inference, secondary data, probability, I multi. I'm going to do a probability analysis. Okay, go firstly, I want to show you if you want broadly, you can just go there. Say search all content on quantitative data analysis, but then all content available to me because there are a couple of things that we don't get. And then you can go and uh, limit it, for example, you only want in business management. Yes, not anthropology, you. not communication. Um, so just a way of uh, limiting it. You will see there are quite a lot of books. But then the nice thing is it is all full text available. If I now click on quantitative data analysis. And I always get students asking, 
where did they get research methodology books? Because the research hard copies of the research methodology books are normally not in available in the library. Yeah. 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 So here you can get research methodology books which you can cite for your research project yeah. and um, which you've got access to 24 hours because it's online. So and once again, you can, it won't be the whole book, but that relevant chapter in the book, you will be able to save as, and in your uh, word folder, PDF, save. And then, just, let's go back, close this one. That was the more, the broader one, um, so let's go back to research methods and quantitative again, quantitative, and you are going to do, do probability, and that's even more uh, more specific. But there is your search or content on probability, and then available to me. And there you are. So there is your there are your references, all full text available. But what I also want to show you under research tools is the project planner. And what is nice about it, it gives you a lot of um, detail or it guides you, let's say guidance from beginning to end. Say so you're already at the stage where you want to define your topic. So, um, But I would, I would even start with the philosophy of the research book. It will help you to narrow your search of your topic when it comes to the research focus areas a little bit more. Because the way we view the world all differs. So if Lerato views the world from a constructivist perspective, she'll probably go to a topic where she can construct her own um, perceptions of reality. Whereas if I'm positivist, then there's only one view of reality. And I'm, I will also go and select um, topics that are in line with that um, experience, that view of reality. So, and this is a very good tool to use. So, um, I would suggest that students go there and work through the process because it will help you to get all through um, and know what to do next. Yeah, in a very guided way mm -hmm. and a very, lo a very logical way. So, it will tell you at this stage what you will do. How can I decide what to study? If you open there, it will give you guidance. Um, it will even sometimes give you more uh, uh, literature, which will ask uh, not enough, so you can download it if you want to, uh, read more about a literature search. So you haven't got enough information, you don't know, you're uncertain, read more about writing a research proposal. Uh, uh, search for resources about access and then the next. So step, for, uh, step by step it will guide you. Time available, material resources required, ethical approval. So really I would suggest that you use this uh, um, tool. Otherwise you can simply go and go to advanced search and put in your uh, terms but this one really gives you context and uh, what? Yeah, for example, we're doing a current paper on using reflective, um, uh, reflective methodology. So um, we, because we know where we're going, we we read on it. We can just search straight up for reflective research, yeah. and it will bring up everything here on the reflective research. Okay. So I'm searching, for example, uh, questionnaires. I want to use questionnaires in my uh, in my research. You can say you only want books or journals. I feel I could glean from each of these uh, sources something. I could maybe say I only want, I don't want uh, criminology, uh, education, 
engineering, yeah. uh, political science, nursing, medicine, yeah, marketing might still be useful. So you can go and choose. And you can also say the product, what uh, you want, but once again, I feel here we can use. Okay, I just want to deselect history and health and geography because they are honestly not going to help me. Anthropology also not, and communication not. Okay, let's see what we find on question X. Once again, question Content available to me. And questionnaire design. How do I go about full text? You can just open it and download it. Conducting transcultural psychometric uh, validations. Or then you can go back to a research tools, methods maps, and instead of drilling down, you can just say the questionnaire. Um, this, uh, what you search is questionnaire and you do it from there. Um, if you really know where you want to go, it's good. But I think, um, as I know my students, I think if you use any of these tools, sort and drill down, it's also the best way to write anything, even if it's literature or if it's on your methodology. You write from the beginning and then from the broader term and narrow down your writing. So the way that these method ma this method map function work actually helps you to function uh, to structure your writing a little bit better. So you would start with the research methodology and then go into your paradigms and then say, okay, in the research design I'm looking at this and this, uh, this is why things are fitting in together and to make this one big picture. Okay, I search for questionnaires but it takes me now to online surveys. So I just want to see questionnaires again. My questionnaires are conducted online. I prefer that questionnaire. Cross sectional web questionnaire design. So there is questionnaire design. I will go there. There are the various sub um, topics and then again all available to me and there is your, uh, there are your references, question and questionnaire design. This nice video that you guys can watch if you want to use questionnaire. <laughs> yes. And then um, I've, I've used all databases now and we've downloaded it into the Mendeley we've been using the uh, desktop. But there is one final thing that I want to show you on the web, on the web um, uh, Mendeley. Mendeley.com, there it is. Remember I've told you, you uh, as you are searching, it gives you suggestions. It will look what, uh, what direction you are taking and it will accordingly uh, come up with suggestions for you. So I'm now doing training on various things. So with me it will be various topics, but with you it will then uh, uh, suggest topics that are relevant to your research. But what is now nice, it gives you uh, suggestions which you can go and just say, add to library, but in this instance it will only take the reference. So add it. Um, you can even go and put it in a specific folder, but if you are at Masters, you can just have a Masters um, uh, Mendeley at this stage. But then also, you can go and get the full text at the publisher. So um, in this instance, then you will download the uh, PDF into the watch folder. So there you are, save as and watch folder and there is my web so I'll just uh, once again go and find the uh, PDF and download it. So we is the download PDF. So download uh, not only this article and in your watch folder. So you can see 
the amount of articles that you are going not to get, that you are not going to get, is very limited. You will get really about 99% um, of articles. So then there is your, oh, again, when? You have to download it again. Sometimes some of these things do, um, do it. Then you say, uh, click on save. Okay, well then you first have to save it there. Then okay. that's what you can. Okay, I'm going to find the to get the articles that you can actually download. Okay, there you are. So I'm not going to save this one. Um, let's just close it. And that one also. And what's nice about Science Direct, for example, they give you, because you were interested in this article, they will give you a few suggestions of articles that other people that also read that article went to. So if all, all the big dots are running at the back and keeping track of what everyone's doing, and that actually helps you and makes it easier to go through all these articles. Now that's the same principle that uh, Mendeley applies here. So I'm just going to close this and close that one. That is the Mendeley suggest, where they look and see what you are looking for. But then there's also this search. It is a very broad search. Um, let's say corporate sustainability, and we want South Africa, or just say Africa. Africa and search. And then once again, there's 33 um, where you can either, but remember if you add to library, it's only the uh, reference, so I would go and in each instance just get the full text and put it in your watch folder and then anyway uh, from the, the system will then harvest the metadata and populate it um, on, on Mendeley. So, you want to add uh, something? I'm, I'm fine, for, I want to take the cup. I will make sure to listen to my floor at the end of the Okay. Yeah, okay. still half an hour and then we're done. Oh yeah, it's going to be very good. Okay, so now we pretend you've now got all your wonderful references into your Mendeley on your desktop. And now you are at the stage where you are going to start writing your research paper. Now the only last step um, yeah, and then obviously you you went and as you were downloading, you were checking that your references were correct, that there's a title, a journal, a, a, a title, a journal, the a year, volume issue. Um, but then the last step that you need to do is you go to tools and you install your MS Word plugin. It is instantaneously there and now we want to open a word document mm. Microsoft Word. The meeting is about to terminate.